Hi, I'm Esra Mohawk. I'm going to sing a song from my second album, Primordial Lovers. It's called I'll Give It To You Anyway, and it's also on the Rhino Handmade CD. I wonder what you want with me You cannot seem to say But even so, you know I'll give it to you anyway I'll give it to you anyway Everything that flows to me What you want me to do my first name came about is it was Sandy and I was the girl I uh, lived with my friend Monica she called everyone by their first initial and mine was S and we were very good friends so she called me Essie and that sounded so nice and warm and friendly that I uh, wanted to stay being that name and I thought well if Sandy stood for Sandra then Essie stood for Esra. Songs have been covered by Tina Turner and I would say that was more kind of rock and pop song and of course my biggest hit is with uh, Cindy Lauper and that's definitely a high-energy pop song, A Change of Heart, which uh, has been a real boon to my life. And um, McFadden and Whitehead I wrote an R&B ballad that they covered called Not With Me. And, uh, of course, we mentioned the Shangri-Las and Vanilla Fudge. Who's left? Oh, Lisa Fisher. Let's see, well, you know I was supposed to play Woodstock. That's a big one. That would have changed my life, don't you think? And... Um, Janis Joplin was going to record my songs. Paul Rothschild lived across the street from us in Laurel Canyon, and uh, he loved my stuff. He wanted to produce me, too, but uh, a little bit down the road, I, that's another opportunity missed. I should have let Paul produce that album, but, you know, Janis had died, and Jim Morrison had died, and I just thought, three's a charm, and it might be me. <laughs> I did, see, I, I was doing a lot of jingles. I was singing on commercials, and somehow that led me to... Uh, hooking up with the Schoolhouse Rock Project. And that was great. Bob DeRoe is wonderful. He's a great producer and songwriter and singer and piano player. And I did a few of those. I sang on Interjections. I sang on Mother Necessity. I was Orville and Wilbur Wright's mom <laughs> in that one. And the one I'm most proud of is Suffer Until Suffrage. My old fans and some new ones uh, have been asking for my old 
albums to be put out on CD because they're on vinyl and it's all scratchy and old and they're tired of listening to the scratches. They want to hear the music in between. So I put everything on CD uh, that they wanted to hear so they would have it. But I didn't really have the rights to do that, although I was very upfront about it and took it to uh, Weir, who owns the rights. And I've been doing this for years. We've been trying to get them to put it out. And finally, uh, Rhino Handmade is doing exactly that.